taking you all now live to Jacksonville Beach where you can see it is raining hard. Red flags have been flying again. Lifeguards have been warning everyone all day about the dangerous rip currents and the strong surf. Channel 4's Elizabeth Campbell spoke with Mayor Charlie Latham of Jacksonville Beach. She's joining us now live with what our coastal communities are doing to prepare. Elizabeth. Well, Tom, the mayor of Jacksonville Beach says for people to start preparing now, not later. As you can see, the conditions out here are already very wet, windy, and Matthew has not even gotten here yet. So it's likely the conditions could get even worse. It's important for people to understand that we're not going to have a clear indicator of what the path is going to be until late tonight. Jacksonville Beach Mayor Charlie Latham is closely monitoring Hurricane Matthew, staying in contact with state, county, and city leaders. Tomorrow at 10 o'clock, we're going to be holding a meeting with uh, Mayor Curry and his staff uh, at the Emergency Operations Center in Jacksonville. After that meeting tomorrow morning, he expects to have more information on evacuations and whether or not they will be needed. If called for, orders and instructions for Duval County will be issued by the Jacksonville Mayor's Office. Where you live in Jacksonville Beach will determine whether Atlantic Boulevard, Beach Boulevard, or JTB will be your recommended evacuation route, as seen in this map, which you can find on newsforjax.com. If you do leave the area, you know, we'll be, we'll have a, a group of folks here on duty to handle electrical issues, dewatering as best we can getting debris out of the roads, and as soon as we can, we'll reopen the roads back to our citizens. Mayor Latham reminds of the importance of listening to evacuation orders. If there's a voluntary evacuation or even a mandatory evacuation. If people fail to leave and they need help during the storm, there will be none to help them. Our first responders will be in shelters just like everybody else. So please understand that, it, it, imagine that horrible scenario of needing help and nobody coming. So if the evacuations are issued, I really wholeheartedly recommend that citizens take them seriously. Now the rain and wind, as you can see, really just picked up here in Jacksonville Beach, and this is not related to Matthew, so this really shows you that we really need to prepare for heavier, more extreme conditions. If evacuations are caught in Jacksonville Beach after they're lifted and you need to get back to your home, all you need is a picture ID showing your beach's address on that ID, and you, you will be able to get back here to any of the beaches communities that you call home. Reporting live from Jacksonville Beach, Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, the local station.